It wasn't a mistake, more like a fortunate, if unexpected, discovery. At the College of Worcester, chemist Paul Edmiston was experimenting with glass nanomaterials, trying to develop better ways to detect explosives at airports. But instead, he discovered a material now called OSOR, a sponge-like substance that soaks up oil and other contaminants from water. The discovery of OSOR is very serendipitous. It came from basic science research in looking at uh, glasses that would bind explosive vapors. With support from the National Science Foundation, Edmiston and colleagues at ABS Materials in Worcester, Ohio, are developing water remediation technologies for cities and industries. OSORB is one of their principal products. So we start with molecules of glass. To whip up a batch, start with some of that glass, add a dash of water, and a pinch of a catalyst. The nanoparticles in here will connect up so much that they lock together and it becomes hard. Then we just dry it out. And then when it comes in contact with a contaminant, it'll swell back up to take its original form. Filter out the toxins and OSORB, and Edmiston says that water is now safe to drink. ABS co-founder Steven Spoonamore sees a huge need for products like OSORB that can easily clean up large quantities of water contaminated by agricultural runoff, oil drilling, and other industrial processes. When you manufacture chips, when you manufacture electronics, when you manufacture chemicals, you need a lot of water, it becomes contaminated with volatiles, and then we can get those volatiles back out of the water. Here at their factory, the OSORB is manufactured in these reactor tubes with different recipes to tackle hydrocarbons, pesticides, and other contaminants. While oil disasters like the Deepwater Horizon spill make the headlines, Edmiston says OSORB can also clean up the water that comes out of oil wells. And managing that water, which of course is going to contain hydrocarbons, is a challenge for our society. That's where OSORB fits in very well. You might say with OSORB, it's always a glass half full approach to clean water. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.